Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming into another video. So, um, I don't know. Usually I don't talk about stuff like this, but I just hear so much noise in regards to Kanye West, in regards to what he's got going on. And I'm watching a lot of what's happening, him getting into it with, you know, various superstars and, and, and old buddies and things of that nature. And it's all public. And, and to me, I just have learned to understand that Kanye West is a marketing genius and this is his way of keeping his name hot right before an album comes out do i think he has other stuff going on with his family do, do they have some static yeah but is it as you know loud as it looks to us i don't think so i don't think so um you know i don't think so now now granted it could be a simultaneous situation you know i remember listening to what um Joe Button said in regards to love and hip hop, he was he was basically kind of peered into how things go, kind of gave me a look into how things go when he spoke of it. He was essentially saying it's not that love and hip hop be creating these problems, it's that when these things come about, they create scripts around those situations and then put a camera on it, right? Um, and I think that's kind of how it, a lot of things work in this era. It's all entertainment, it's for our eyes. If there's real problems, like real problems, Chances are it's probably going to be done outside of our site because they have PR teams for each of these different superstars that are going to make it so that they their image is looked a certain way. They, 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 they control that image in such a way so it's not like you're actually going to see the truth. You're going to, they're going to show you what you they want you to see so that you'll pay your money to whatever it is they got going on. Even if it's real stuff going on, the version of it that you see is polished. And it's molded and it's it's controlled, dare I say. And, you know, I think about Kim Kardashian, her whole team, they they since since she first emerged, they've been marketing geniuses. Her mom and their family have made a way through sheer clout um, to turn themselves into billionaires, man, many times over. You know what I mean? And, and they've been able to branch that out into various individual businesses that they've turned into multi-million dollar, even billion dollar businesses. Like, you know, their money knows no end, which means that their PR teams are extremely precise and, um, you know, well thought out and well paid. You know, at the end of the day, all this stuff going on with like Kid Cudi, for example, Cudi's his man's. But he's his man's. Whatever they got. If they have a real problem, you, they ain't going to go back and forth on the internet. It's never going to happen. You know how long they've known each other? Let's just, let's just break this down for real. You know how long these people know each other? And you really think they're going to start today using social media? Mind you, Kanye West was a guy who was ahead of the social media game in the sense that he had an interactive website way back in the day that you could go on and get music and go on and, and, and communicate with, with, with him and see his art and see different things that he was interested in. He was interacting with the public before it was, you know, a thing. Basically, before it was really a thing for, for you to do so. Before Instagram, before Facebook even blew up. He had websites that you could go on so you could do what it is I'm saying you could do. Like, this isn't somebody who doesn't know how to manipulate the internet. This is somebody who basically created the environment the internet is right now. <laughs> he more or less helped create it. He wasn't the only one, but it was several of them. Him and Kim are like the the the, the, the molders of the world we're in as it pertains to all this clout. They, they started this. <laughs> so whatever you see them do, it's definitely well thought out. It's definitely got people behind the scenes helping them, you know, helping them and stuff like that in whatever way necessary to, to keep it under control and profitable uh, and and I and I also think at the same time that Kanye West really is dealing with mental illness he's been dealing with mental illness for even longer than than some of the troubles that we know about have happened in his life that didn't stop Kim from marrying him that didn't stop her from having his children that didn't stop them from getting together and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the end all be all to whatever is going on behind the scenes and then I look at like Pete Davidson and that whole situation that looks put together that looks put together to me. I don't know nothing about nothing, but they're all friends. All these people are like friends together. So if, if there's a conversation that needed to be had behind the scenes for, for 
Kanye West to not be at odds with Pete if he decided if this is a, if they're dating in real life. I'm pretty sure that conversation's already been had. I'm pretty sure they've sat down several times, and I'm pretty sure they are molding this so that all parties involved can profit in the end of the day because that's how they operate. Life for these people is the public eye. There is no moment where the cameras turn off. There is no moment where they can... <sighs> no, life is this. So whatever life is, is thought of with PR worked into it. You know? Like everything. Literally everything. So, you know, I listened to Kanye and what he had to say when he sat down at Drink Champs and the things that he's working on. You know, different things that are just like literally futuristic way beyond type of things and that's where my head goes immediately to Kanye West is not nearly as petty as he wants us to think he is he's not as simple minded or lost as he wants us to think he is when this album Donda 2 is about to come out he's not y'all I'm not saying he's not dealing with mental illness but I think I'm a perfect example I hope I am of someone who's stable and dealing with mental illness at the same time and we exist <laughs> Not everybody who's crazy be walking around spitting and, and slapping people and, 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 and throwing stuff around. No, mental illness comes in many forms, especially when a person is extremely intelligent. And Kanye West is beyond intelligent. He has like several different universes in his head at once. He has musical genius. He has artistic genius. He has marketing genius. Like this dude, is he's, he's every bit as awake as a human mind can be, in my opinion, from what I've observed. And because of it, it may be difficult to hone in and control. And that's what I try to explain to you guys about myself on a much lesser level. Because I ain't no damn Kanye West, obviously. But it's hard for us artists and those complicated brains to hone in all that we got going on in our head into one single consciousness for us to display to you. It's very difficult. And Kanye's one of those. So it's like his genius is hard for him to, to hone in. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't always flaring off in various ways that he can display. If you don't think that man is probably like the literally the most innovative person alive right now, him and Elon Musk are probably the most innovative people alive right now. You know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, not only is he doing that, but he's also a fashion guru who's made billion dollars off of fashion. I mean, you got to understand, when you got a brain like that, there's no easy way to... To, 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 to pinpoint what that person is, who that person is. They are not one thing. They're a trillion things at the same time. <laughs> you got to understand that. You know what I mean? So because I understand it, I look at Kanye and all he's doing right now, that's just a marketing plan executed by two of the greatest marketing teams to ever walk the earth. Kim Kardashian's marketing team and Kanye West's marketing team. And together they come together to make a super conglomerate. And I'm telling you, you think he's done making money? Please. You think he's done building stuff? No, <laughs> he's not. He's not done, man. And, he, and it's only going to continue to grow. So I'm a big fan. Always have been. I've understood him from this perspective. It took a long time for me to come to this conclusion. I'm like, this guy is spazzing out. Da -da 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 -da. He's going through all this. He says too much. Sometimes his parameters don't seem like they're strong. Sometimes it seems like he's, you know, he's, he's exposing things that he probably shouldn't say. Da -da -da. But at the end of the day, that's just part of it. That's part of it. It's it embodies both the marketing and the inability to necessarily hone it in at the same time. I think both things are happening simultaneously. He knows what's going to get attention when he says, please don't send uh, your, you know, those people that you got, Jay-Z, to harm me. Please don't do that. I think at the same time, he knew that was going to grab the attention, make headlines, get everybody focusing in on both him and Jay-Z, which will put more money in their pockets because all publicity is good publicity. These are things that are simultaneously going on with him also having issues. Knowing how to control that incredible mind he is and that's not uncommon check all of the greatest artists who ever lived they've all had issues controlling and honing in that singular consciousness for the rest of the world to, to, to see it's impossible you know what i mean it's literally impossible when you have that much capability and that many different things that you're paying attention to at once and that many different things that you can create and trying to accomplish in one lifetime it's it's, it's too much it's, it's really too much for a lot of artists so I just look at Kanye West and I say, look, all that's going on right now, everything involving his name, not excluding nothing, is marketing. He is putting himself in an absolute and utter position to get your attention, to keep your attention, to keep you talking about him, keep you talking about Kim, keep you talking about Pete, and all of them, and whatever their projects are going to be, are going to be getting millions and millions of more hits because of it. I don't care what it looked like. 
Talk about Kid Cudi, same thing. Cudi's his man's. Look at it like this. When someone does a celebrity boxing match, that means that they are in agreement to help one another make money. So if a person gets in a celebrity boxing match with somebody they don't like, something is strange. What I mean by don't like is if there's real problems, they're probably not going to help each other get any money. You see what I'm saying? They're going to try to keep money out of each other's pockets. That's where the blackballing comes in in this business. That's when you start seeing you situations where you know a guy's talented, but you can't ever see his face. You don't never see nothing on his, you know, of his artistry in your face. It's because he's probably being blocked out. That's where a real beef is. You ain't, you ain't talking about the guy. You're shutting up about him, and you're making sure that nobody else is talking about him, too, with your power. That's when you know there's real beef. You know? And I'm not going to mention who is blackballed, who's not, because I'm not certain. But I'm just saying, these are, the, these are the signs when you know it's a real problem. <laughs> but when guys are loudly on Twitter talking about one another for us to see and go, ooh, and then all the bloggers go talking about him, ah, chances are, I believe, there's an agreement behind the scenes to help one another's brands make money. So this Pete Davidson situation, believe me, if Kanye wasn't feeling Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson would be blackballed. You wouldn't be hearing his name five, every five, ten minutes. You wouldn't hear it. And he certainly wouldn't be anywhere near that man's wife. Trust you me, or ex-wife or what have you. It wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't. That's an agreement. Him and Kid Cudi, that's an agreement. They're talking about one another. Oh, da, 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 nothing too serious. New dinosaur. Oh, that hurt. Come on, man. Stop it. Look, the only reason why we bring all of this to the table is because a lot of us are such sheep that we allow ourselves to let our, these, these marketing things affect how we view the people themselves. And then you go out in the street and you try to swing at them like, you, like that dude did, MLE Chopper. You know, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes with that situation, but I can tell you that there's somebody profiting off of that. Even if that's real beef, there's there's someone, record company or some distribution company of some sort, sitting back appreciating the fact that these names are being talked about in the way that they are. But the wide public may not understand that, and the wide public, according you know to their own mindset, may go off and act on those things. And that's when things get dangerous. That's when things get unsafe for these people. So it's time to start understanding, like, look, just because we enjoy the WWE doesn't mean we're confused about whether or not it's scripted. It's okay to watch something that's scripted if you, if you understand what it is, what you're looking at. You understand what I'm saying? You can enjoy a movie, and a movie ain't real. You know? Some, but it'll still move you just the same. You may still take something from it. Real life stuff, art imitates life, so you see a lot of different things that may incorporate into your own world, but don't get it confused. If there's a real problem, chances are, if these people are as as connected as a Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, you ain't gonna hear about it. That ain't gonna ever hit your eardrums. You know? And if it is, it's gonna be a PR nightmare and they're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff to try to patch it up. So that's what I just wanna do, man. I was schooled early. Growing up in Hollywood, California, you just kinda gonna know this stuff, you know what I mean? Growing up in that particular part of Los Angeles. This stuff is like, y'all really buying all of this? Seriously, y'all buying all of this? Stop being fooled about what is entertainment and what is real life. Unfortunately, some of the players in these games, some of the people involved in some of these things, they too get it confused. You ever hear about an a actor who plays a role so well that they need to get therapy to, to snap out of that role? It's like that. It's like, especially for a lot of people out here with these artists, these rappers and stuff like that. They can't, they, they can forget they're not really like that. <laughs> like they literally they really it does something to their mind to play this role 24 7 it does something to this mind to believe that they're this or that or the third untouchable especially if money's involved you don't have nothing to concern yourself with reality you continue to get a check you never worry about real life things that's the rest of us we can't turn off we can't play i can't pretend like i'm batman all day long because batman got bills that he can pay i <laughs> I have to make sure that I take care of my business or else reality is going to hit me in the face and remind me who I actually am. A guy that has eight, nine billion dollars may, may not be, may not be necessary for him to even face reality in that case, right? Like, if you really think about it. So I'm just saying, man, enjoy the entertainment, react to it as you do, but do not be confused about whether or not these two people really want him to be knock each other's heads off. Drake and Kanye West, I don't think they had a, a real problem at any point. I really didn't. 
Just like I never thought 50 Cent and Kanye West had a problem when they went back and forth 12 years ago when the albums both dropped. That was a friendly, friendly beef. Very friendly. And I thought that Drake's and Kanye's beef was a more advanced and learned from version of that. It's like, okay, this is what we did. We can make it look more authentic if we do it this way this time. That's, that's all that was to me. They never really had a problem. Seeing them get on stage out here in Inglewood, not surprising at all. Not surprising at all. Now, did they have some issues? Maybe they had to work out beforehand? Maybe so. But I'm pretty sure that Drake and somebody else that you never heard of probably had some issues they got to work out. I mean, it's like the artists themselves are just the face. There's a million people behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Who, who who may not get along, who may be connected to this person, and that's why these two artists may be beefing, and you don't even know these people or why these situations happen. Somebody may have passed away. Now these people have political issues. They don't like each other, but they would like each other if they weren't aligned politically, so they try to talk in back channels. There's so many different things that happen, man, especially when you know L.A. You know how this goes. It gives you an understanding of how marketing works because it's all done here. Most, a lot of times, this stuff is thought up and birthed in this place <laughs> with these different formulas that how this place works worked into the equation of how that stuff is formulated. It's crazy, man. That's why I love the fact that I grew up in Los Angeles because it's, it's a place like no other. And uh, it does give you a way of looking at certain things that maybe you wouldn't look at it if, if you weren't growing up in this environment. So... That's what I wanted to share with you guys, man. That's a perspective of BDF 44 can provide you, man. I literally grew up in Hollywood, California, the actual Hollywood. Hollywood sign was like in view of my of my back window in my house. I'd see it every day. It was I never actually went up there, believe it or not. I'm I'm the guy who grew up two miles or three miles away from the Hollywood sign and literally never went up there. Just didn't didn't care to. You know, when you when you grow up in a neighborhood, that don't move you. Just like people talk about in New York. Oh, I grew up in New York, so I've never been to the Empire State Building. I'm not surprised because I grew up in Hollywood and I never went to the Hollywood side. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. Um, at the end of the day, Kanye West is a genius and he has a hard time controlling that brilliant mind like most geniuses do, especially if you're an artistic genius. And his is to the absolute max. So... Um, for those who say, oh, Kanye isn't crazy, define crazy. Kanye's a genius of the highest order. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. My name is BDL44. Thank you all for watching.